ancient China, it was once home to a remarkable and unusual creature known as the Chinese water deer. Characterized by its long tusks, resembling fangs instead of antlers. It's a tiny to medium-sized deer. The Chinese water deer has a long, slender body and short legs, kind of like a wiener dog, but bigger. They typically stand between 20 and 24 inches tall. That's 50 to 60 centimeters. That's right up to their shoulders. And the males are slightly larger than the females. In different parts of East Asia, Adult males often weigh between 11 and 18 kilograms, that's 24 to 40 pounds, whereas adult females typically weigh in between 9 and 15 kilograms, 20 to 33 pounds. Their native range includes parts of China, Korea, and Taiwan, with specific discoveries recorded in China's southeast coastal regions, such as the Yangtze River Basin and the Yellow River's lower reaches. One of the most attractive features of the Chinese water deer is its large canine-like tusks. Tusks that can reach a maximum length of 8 centimeters or 3.1 inches are only present in the males. These gorgeous extensions, resembling ivory, protrude from the top of the jaw. These deer have effectively adapted to marshy and wetland environments where they seek protection in reed beds, river valleys, and dense vegetation. These wetlands are rich in reeds, grasses, and aquatic plants, which form the basis of their herbivorous diet. They can be identified in the wild by their solitary and covert behavior. They're like ninjas. Chinese water deer are typically crepuscular. That means they are most active during the dawn and dusk hours. During breeding season, which normally lasts from late October to early January, male deer compete for the attention of females by displaying dominance with their tusks. After approximately six months of gestation, female deer give birth to a single fawn, occasionally sometimes twins. The difficulties of their swampy habitat are reflected in the fact that Chinese water deer fawns, unlike those of other deer species, accompany their mothers on foraging sorties soon after birth. The Chinese water deer is currently included on the red list of the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, as a vulnerable species. This classification indicates that the Chinese water deer faces a high risk of extinction in the wild due to the habitat loss brought on by human development in China. Due to its captivating beauty and distinctive behavior, the Chinese water deer has gained popularity in some zoos across the world. Many accredited zoos and wildlife parks put on a lot of effort into creating the appropriate wetland habitats that mimic these animals' natural environment. The exceptional swimming skills of the Chinese water deer make it simple for them to cross waterways. They go to new feeding areas. It's very easy. The little paw-type hooves. They're hooves. They're not paws, but you know what I mean. They're tiny, though, and they, they do real good in the water. These versatile deer do well in man-made habitats like cultivated wetlands or rice paddies. So look, in conclusion, the Chinese water deer's unique characteristics, including its fang-like tusks and adaptability to wetland habitats, make it a captivating and significant species in the natural world. They are one of the oldest deer species in the entire world. They date back 5 million years. Speaking of deer, do you know why the deer got braces? Because he had buck teeth. <laughs> These are interesting things with JC.